Hey guys, welcome to the latest instalment. I think we're on to episode six now of Breakfast with Ignite. We're going back to kind of the original format. I'm going to answer a few questions today. I'm uh, going to try and keep it brief though because we don't want to talk about the big event for next week, which is the beta test. Woo! <laughs> Goes live. Look at us, we're moving so fast. <laughs> Other projects, three years. Ignite, three months. Not even. Not even. <laughs> Not even. So yeah, so we, we'll, we'll, we'll get onto that at the at the end of the show. So we're going to make you sit through the boring bit first, I'm afraid. Yeah. But what we plan to do is actually uh, no, no, announce. No, come on, Yim X, some really good questions. So Yim, Yim, this is the this Yim. Is for you, this Yim. is the Yim, Yim special episode today. We've got a we've got an episode of Breakfast with Ignite dedicated to Yim because for no, no reason other than we get inundated with questions, we've been ignoring Yim's questions. We have been. Yeah, so Yim's yeah. been messaging me, he's been messaging Chris and asking yeah. me, please answer his questions. Yim needs some love. So let's, let's, let's give Yim some love. Let's, uh, let's, so let's dive questions. in. So I'll ask the questions and then you have a crack at answering them. Okay. Old school. Really? So oh, back okay. to episode so one it's, style. I'm going to answer the yeah. questions. Oh, okay. No, we'll talk about that. We'll oh, okay. So Yim asks. Maybe I can't answer one. Yeah. Yim asks. It's actually not so much of a, a question, but more of a statement. Uh, but I'll turn it into a question. Um, how do you determine the entry and exit prices of the Hive's investment? Ooh. Um, well, we have these uh, these cards that we uh, put on the table. And no, um, <laughs> the, the way we do it is, of course, it comes down to the Hive. So the Hive will suggest uh, potential entry prices and also potential exit prices. Uh, this will move uh, much more quick than the, the reputation and actually developing a rating. Uh, because it, it's very important that we are able to close positions for profit before the market moves against us, yes, for example. Um, I mean, just look yesterday. I mean, imagine we knew that Ethereum or the general crypto market was just going to dump through the floor. Um, we want to be able to take advantage and, and sell at the best price possible and then potentially buy in. So we, uh, of course, that'll be very dynamic and it will be a very intuitive part of the platform, which is very, very easy to use and execute on. Yeah. Yeah, so I think there's a there's a good differentiation to be made there between what we're calling on the platform sort of coins, which are the likes of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, as in trading cryptocurrencies, mm -hmm. versus sort of ICOs and and tokens which may be not readily exchangeable just yet. So obviously the price point then, in terms of an entry point, will be uh, a subject of negotiation for us to try and uh, introduce ourselves to the project and negotiate a good price at which the the hive rather the index can buy in if the hive decides that's the right thing to do um, but yeah with as chris says with, with the coins um there'll be much more be much more sentiment based it'll be um i actually responded to somebody with this very same answer in telegram this week there'll be uh certainly on the close position um an auto an auto close function auto close um Wrong, wrong, wrong way of describing it. There'll be a way to actually set the price at which you would change your opinion. So if you're currently saying, mm -hmm. we're in a hold position, but I would change my opinion if the price hits X, and then it automatically switches it for you. That that doesn't work so nicely with, with the point at which the position should be opened, because we do believe that actually many, many factors should be taken into account in entering a trade, not just the price. So yeah, the price might have, have crashed and become very, very attractive for an entry point, but it might have crashed for a reason. So that's why you can't just have an yeah, auto buy. you can't buy just in. buy because it's cheap. No, it exactly. has to be a reason. Good question, Yim. Very good second question. Second question from Yim? Let's go for it. What is this second Yim's question? second question is, what factors lead to the decision to add an asset to the index? Well, that's, uh, that's a good question because all questions are good questions, but it's yeah. a pretty straightforward answer. It is. it is because the Hive thinks it's a good asset to buy. Uh, so, so what factors contribute to that? Your reputation, uh, you know, the activity on the asset itself. So if we just have one guy with a really good rec uh, reputation that posts one comment or review about a particular crypto asset and then no one else looks at it, no one else considers it, we're probably not gonna, gonna trade that, you know? Yeah. So it needs to have a, a bit of community consensus before we go ahead and, and add, you know, a, a, that to the index. Yeah, it's worth pointing out actually, you just mentioned something you mentioned there, just made me think of something mm. that, um, the system, again, it won't be the beta next week, but as we improve the features over the coming weeks, coming months, uh, the system will actually try and balance out those projects that it feels needs love. So if there's certain projects that aren't getting attention, we'll try and promote those to our, not promote, sorry, wrong word to use it, we'll try and present those to our users in such a way that yeah. you will be encouraged to actually provide an opinion for those projects. 
um, so that obviously we're not just seeing one project being exactly. rated 100, 200, 300, 400 times you know, and other projects getting getting no love at all. There's always a lot of hidden gems and, and those have a lot more upside than, than the ones that are super hyped and yeah. you know potentially more upside. Yeah. But. So I mean, there's, there's several ways we can do this. Um, one of the ways we're planning on doing this is actually um, incentivizing the, the users of the platform to rate certain assets or even maybe category levels within assets based on a re reputational uplifts. So if we feel that a certain asset needs more attention, it'll be again presented to you you guys as um, as a project that, that requires rating um, and it'll be made clear to you that you know rating this project will give you a reputational boost um, over maybe rating something which is already yeah. fully uh, fully rated up. That makes sense. Sure. I use the word rating a lot there, but I think I got the point across. But anyway, uh, last question from Yim, and then we'll move on to the, the meaty stuff. How will you make sure that small cap coins will have a chance to get added to the index, as most people will probably be rating the high cap coins they know, though they have mostly less potential for growth? Mm -hmm. That's kind of half answered by what we just yeah, talked about. Yeah, I'd say that was covered. Um, I mean, the thing the thing of it is, is that just because it's a high cap coin and everyone knows about it, I think I don't think that the people will, will just follow that. I think we've seen that actually. I think we've already seen that the last couple of weeks in our in our, our hive Telegram group. We found some. We've some seen people are gems, talking yeah. about projects. Certainly, there's people are introducing projects to that chat that because I've had my head buried in Ignite for the last mm -hmm. few months, I've not heard about. Yeah. And there's no. the real yeah, you're right. Some great great gems that are being recommended by by our members. Yeah. The the, so. the thing with with high cap, I mean, we're not probably even going to be be focusing on, on on that too much, I don't think, because there's not going to be a lot of upside on, on a coin that already has it's, a massive... Those are the ones that are trading, yeah. exactly, yeah. Exactly, I mean, even if it is trading and it's a super high cap coin, I mean, where, where does where does it go from there? You know, I mean, like, Ethereum for Ethereum to double is a lot of work right now, Yeah. you know? But for some other coins that are like, you know, 10 cents, whatever, for them to double is it's not that, I mean, not just 10 cents, but a low market cap, yeah. it's not yeah. really hard for them to, to jump up when the market gets good. So I think that, that small caps will get a lot of focus yeah. from our community more more than you might think. Okay, but well, that's just my that's my feeling. I mean, at the end of the day, it's 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 a open the whole, community. That's the thing. We we've always said all the way along that it'll be up to our community members to actually recommend projects to exactly. their yeah. to their peers, and you know we're we're building something that we actually don't want to control. We want you guys to control it. Um, so so yeah, so it'll be up to you guys. There might be the, the, there's a real f swing towards you know traditional. Cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and that's what people want to hold. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, Yim, thank you for your questions. They were good questions. Uh, please feel free to ask some more. Anyone, please feel free to ask some more. Um, as usual, we'll have the Google spreadsheet link uh, inserted by Florian, and we will have uh, the link in the comments as well. Just click it, answer your questions. No questions, are stupid yeah. questions, Chris I, says. I think we'll end up getting a lot of questions from the beta users. We will, yeah. we will. So, so be prepared let's... that the next few episodes are probably going to be more frequent and focus on platform usage and so But on. I think that's what people want to start yeah. hearing about anyway. That's true. So let's move on to that then. So, beta. Yeah. So what we're doing, what we have done, as you guys know, last week we opened up a beta test uh, expression of interest form. Loads of people, hundreds of people filled that in. Mm -hmm. So thank you very, very, very much to everyone. Um, we are still sticking to the original rollout plan that we announced last week, which will be 50 testers for week one. We'll add an additional 50 testers for week two, an additional testers, uh, sorry, additional 50 testers for week three, and then hopefully 100 in week four. That's if we don't shuffle everything yeah. up. I mean, if, if everything is working, no bugs, no problems, then we open up to yeah, everyone and, exactly. and get it exactly. live. The, the, the goal is to do that as quick as we can, uh, but you know, we need to see how it's yeah. working with a small group first before we, we roll it out. You know, Absolutely. Everyone. So, um, so, the exciting news is, I know something you don't know. I know who those 50 people are. And shortly, so will you, because Florin is going to start a ticker, which will show you the first the Telegram usernames of the first 50 users. Don't worry, if you're selected and you don't have a Telegram username, because there were a couple of people in there, uh, we'll be emailing everyone a confirmation as well. That will be going out probably tomorrow. So for now, the only source of information, the only way to find out if you are one of the lucky first 50 for week one is ticking along underneath my face right now. Um, we'll send you an email confirming. We'll also send you an email if, you're, if you've been confirmed for week two. Uh, we we'll probably won't send out the week three ones just yet because we obviously want to send those out nearer the time and they're more relevant. Um, so for those that did manage to, to get in, congratulations. Please do not waste the opportunity. I cannot stress that enough. We really, really, really want people using the platform um, albeit, as we said all, all the way along, functionality that we're testing right now 
its core functionality and there's a reason why we're testing this first. And it's there not feature packed. And one thing that we want to bring out. If you're a beta tester and, you know, for whatever reason you decide, hey, you know, I don't want to be part of this because you don't sign up or, you know, maybe you're busy or whatever, uh, we're going to give your spot away. Sorry, but that's what's going to happen. So after the first week, if you don't log in, if you don't start participating, we are going to give your spot to someone else on the list. Who wants to. I think that's who wants to. I think that's and, and the reason for that is because it's a test and we need to test this, need to this test product. This. So um, we need 50 people to be actually engaged with the product. Uh, so if, if for whatever reason, you know, it's not your fault, you know, we're not saying that you're, you know, a bad boy for not doing <laughs> it. But if you if you can't get involved, then it's fine. Or you know you can't get involved, let us know. Yeah, because we that. would like to give the spot to someone who who has the time to to get involved in this. It's it's important. It's part of the it's part of the rollout of this product. So we want to make sure it's done right. Yeah. Okay. So as things currently stand, we're still looking good for a first of May uh, launch for the 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 beta testers. Uh, we can't give you a time. Uh, we will send an email when things are ready. Uh, we might send an email in advance of things being ready with the URL so that if you really want to, you can sit there pressing F5 and wait for it to go live. <laughs> That's fine too. Uh, but we, we will we will be notifying you, usual channels, email, telegram, social media. Um, if you're a beta tester, you will be whitelisted. You'll have to use the email address that you told us you were going to use to register with the platform, otherwise it won't work. Um, and that really is that. So I think maybe just to wrap up this week. We will give you the usual spiel about please subscribing to the YouTube channel because as Chris says, it's really important. A lot of messaging is going to be coming out yeah. uh, via YouTube in the coming please weeks. Please share it with your friends as well. Yeah. Because uh, the only way that we're going to grow this channel is is when you guys share. So so it's I think it's pretty decent content yeah. in comparison to some of the other guys I see on YouTube. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, and you know, <laughs> we're nice to look at. So. <laughs> anyway, so like the video, please. Please subscribe. Please Make sure you're following us on Twitter, Facebook, all the usual stuff. You guys know how this works. Other than that, here for, uh, I think have a good day. It remains for us to say, <laughs> yeah, have a good day. Goodbye from Gibraltar. Cheers, yeah. guys.